Um, so I want to talk just a little bit about what I'm doing, give you an idea of something you guys can do. I know in January, y'all set out for amazing goals for yourself. And some of you may have fallen a little short and it's okay. Like, let's forgive ourselves. Okay. You're not perfect, right? Don't mess up good for perfect. Is that what, is that the saying? They've been, I've been hearing that a lot. Don't mess up good for perfect, right? Or better for perfect or whatever it is. Uh, but something I try to do is just better my own self become 1% better. And you guys have been following. I do a crazy like fitness challenge every month this year. Yeah, I set that goal in December. I said every month I'm going to challenge myself to something crazy. Like, like do something. So on January, I did 100 ab rollers a day for 30 days. Thanks for everybody who participated. You inspired me to keep going. Month two, I said, this is February burpees. I haven't even done my burpees today. I got to get my butt moving. 100 burpees a day for the whole month of February. How many days are there? 29 days in February. Yeah, so I'll get um, 20, what, 2,900 burpees or whatever. So that's exciting. I'm excited for my burpees. Next, I am going to start breaking things down into 10 days. I'm all about like 10 days. Like I do a 10 day drink coat ketone challenge with people, helping them find better skin, sleep, mood, appetite, attention, energy, you know, like my mom juice I talk about all the time. That's exciting. But you know what else is exciting? Challenging yourself to 10 days at a time. I think 10 days is the perfect amount of time to do something awesome, right? I think it's so great to focus on something to challenge yourself on and inspire other people in the process. It's the perfect amount of time to really commit to something and maybe find a new healthy habit for yourself. Maybe have it be a jumping off point to a healthier lifestyle. Maybe it's you just saying, holy shit, man, I was slacking before and I got to get going on something, right? Maybe it lights a fire under your ass on something you need to do. Who can commit to 10 days of doing something awesome? I think all of you guys can. If you can, put I commit to 10 days. And then I'm going to ask you guys and give you some ideas of things you can do for yourself. Um, I created like a brainstorming list on the plane from Vegas the other day. I was just so inspired. Um, our, our CEO, Brian Underwood, he actually did this. And I'm going to do this. Do you guys want to know what he did? And this is going to be my first 10 day challenge because I'm starting with the big one. I'll start with the big one right here. He ran 10 K's for 10 days straight. <laughs> Just thinking about it, like, like gives me the goosebumps. Like I go back to when I did my last half marathon in 2014. It was my first and last half marathon. I've not ran since guys. I've not ran since. And some of you guys, that may shock you because I am a physically fit person. But there is nobody that I see smiling and running at the same time. And I just can't participate in something like that. And I've been telling myself ever since 2014, I would just suck at doing something like that. I suck at running. I can't do it. I got done with that race. I said, I'm done. Like I said, I'm training for a half marathon. I trained for the half marathon. I ran, not smiling. I got to the finish line and I turned, I, I turned it in. I'm like, I don't know why in hell I'm doing this anymore. Nobody likes running. So I commit to this, you hear me publicly say this, right after I get done with my 60 hour fast, because ain't nobody gonna be running during that fast, right? 60 hours starts on the 16th next Sunday. So on Wednesday, next week, I'm gonna run my first 10K in, the, in, in six years. My first 10K. If you don't think I can do it, you better watch, because I'm gonna be talking about a lot. 10K, 10K a day for 10 days. If you wanna join me on that, say I'm in. If you don't want to join me on that, I got some other ideas for you guys. So other ideas that I have on my list. And I'm going to probably be doing two of these a month on top of my physical challenge. Some of these aren't physical. You guys are going to read the list. Some of you are like, I'm cashing out. I'm checking out. There's no way I'm doing a physical, physically fit thing every day for like 10 days, you know, increments. So you could do a 10K every day. That's what I'm doing starting next Wednesday. Good luck if you're joining me because I'm going to kick your butt. I'm going to kick your butt. It's going to be a slow crawl at the beginning for me, but I think I'm going to get better. Inspiring that 1% better, right, guys? Ten, uh, one new TED Talk a day for 10 days. You guys watch TED TV? You're going to learn a lot if you haven't. Go do that. Um, 10 days of gratitude, and that could be anything. That could be just calling a friend saying, God dang, you are so amazing. I just, I'm so blessed that you're a part of my life. Like, what if you did that for 10 days for one person? You know, pick a new person a day. 10 days of organization. I would organize one small area of space every day. Okay, I didn't write that. I think my husband wrote that because there's no way that I'm cleaning. But, oh, I did write it. So I'm going to do that. Um, 10 miles a day on the bike. 
That seems kind of easy, but actually it's not every single day. I know I teach spin classes, but I also don't run, bike 10 miles a day. Um, uh, what's, in it? what's one that's not fitness related here? Um, 10 new fitness classes in 10 days. That will get me out of my comfort zone. Can you guys imagine going into like me going into a Zumba class? Like, oh, God, one of them's going to have to be Zumba because we're limited here on some of those fitness classes. But I know there's lots around the city. If you're a fitness teacher like me and you want to invite me to your class, that's probably the week that you'll get me there because I have to do 10 new classes a week. Oh, God, that's going to be challenging. I bet my body will get sore from that. Um, and then 10 days of being a vegan. That means no eggs for me because pretty much I'm vegan outside of eggs and fish. <laughs> I don't do any dairy. I don't do gluten, any of that stuff. But anyways, 10 days of no texting, only phone calls allowed. <laughs> I didn't write that either. Maybe my kids wrote that. No texting, mommy. You better call somebody. It's so much more better. 10 days, 10 days, you guys. Could you do that? Could you Put away your phone for 10 days, the ability to text, and could you pick up the phone and physically call somebody? Like, imagine that. This is 2020. I think you could do it, and I bet you you would learn a lot about yourself and how much you actually text instead of communicate verbally on the phone. 10 minutes of meditation a day for 10 days. You guys could probably do that. Some of you could probably stretch that if you're already doing that to maybe 30 minutes a day for 10 days. Tony Lucero, maybe an hour a day, I mean, in his yoga positions. Um, 10, 10 random acts of kindness in 10 days. That's going to be one I'm going to do super soon because I've been really excited about that. Just intentionally doing a random act of kindness. I know we do them a lot. I know I try to give back a lot. I'm very big on the giving part of the community. But definitely just 10 random acts of kindness. It doesn't have to be financially involved with anything. It can be anything anything. Pay it forward. You'll inspire people with those 10 days. One hour of reading every day. Gosh, my kids need that. Um, one live video a day. <laughs> of course, I would love that. Um, bed by 9 p.m. every day for 10 days. 9 p.m. <laughs> I go to bed with my kids. That would do so much for your health. Do you guys know how important your sleep is? It's crazy. What if you went to bed at every night intentionally by 9 p.m.? Mail one thank you note a day for 10 days. That's a good idea. Yee! One thank you note. When was the last time you wrote a thank you note to somebody? Go do it today. Um, 10 days where I can't use my phone before 10 a.m. How many of you wake up in the morning like me and you rush downstairs because you think you missed something? You're immediately on that person's agenda. Shame on you for checking your email first thing. What if you waited till 10 in the morning and got stuff done before 10? Maybe had breakfast with your family. Maybe went and exercised. Maybe did your journaling. Maybe read a book. Maybe you prayed. Maybe you went to church before 10. What if you didn't use your phone until 10 a.m.? I think you would survive. I'm going to because I'm going to do it for 10 days straight. 10 days of daily mass. There's another spiritual thing for you guys to, to do daily mass all over the city. I know. I, I, I go to St. Patrick's, St. Saint, Saint Robert's. They have daily mass. There's no excuse why I shouldn't be going to it more often. So maybe create that habit. It's out of my way and it takes an hour, but maybe I will love that. Um, 10 days to volunteer. Pick something to volunteer at, maybe a nursing home around town, um, one of the nonprofit organizations that you love. I love Fit Girl here in town. I'm getting very um, excited to work with Essential Pregnancy Services. Who can you volunteer for? Maybe your kid's school, be a room mom one of the days. Like, what can you do for 10 days straight? That's the whole goal of this. And my goal is to inspire you along my 10 days. You don't have to do it with me, but maybe you'll say, I'm going to do 10 days once every two months of something just awesome. And I'm going to share it with three friends. Imagine the ripple effect what that would do for other people. Just becoming that 1% better. And uh, Brian inspired me to do the 10K, you guys. Like I sat there like this listening to it. Like I am not even kidding. I said there is no, there, there is nothing that's going to inspire me to run 10Ks for 10 days. Like I haven't ran at all since 2014, if you missed the beginning of this. I ran a half marathon. I said, I'm one and done. I'm done running. And now I'm inspired to just get out of my comfort zone and try something different. That's why I put gulp on the title of this. When was the last time you gulped? Think about it. Stretched yourself, right? Chose a new hard for yourself. 
Are we just sitting here comfortable and complacent? The only way you get better at anything in life is just to challenge yourself. And I think these 10 days are going to be awesome. So that's it for me. Wish me luck next Wednesday. Not this Wednesday. I got a little time to prep my mind for this. I'm going to do a 10K a day for 10 days straight. Watch me run. Join me on my journey. Start your own 10 day and we'll talk to you guys later. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.